Everybody is running. But the people, but the people wait. But the people who shoot now, the people who pass now, the police now. Yes, the police. Police is trying to pursue them so that road will be collected. Waiting, waiting be their own. They say they no one come out for the they market. They no one come out for the market. <laughs> they here and they are planned. Where they go, where, where, uh, yeah. Taliban, they, uh, they say Taliban give them. So where they are, Chimaro, okay, give them. Chimaro, okay. Uh, yes, yeah, say that they are land. Where Chimaro, okay, give them. Say they know who come out, then I didn't get the place. So that is the issue. And they don't give them one end. Like three, uh, three days last week, made them go. They know who is going. Our police is shooting everywhere. People see the run. In some videos that went viral on internet yesterday, it was seen that armed Aousa men in Enugu state yesterday attacked police operatives and government officials with their AK-47 rifles as they also barricaded roads and made bonfires on them as most people didn't know the actual cause of the incident. In the news that was published by Punch newspaper, the cause of the chaos was revealed as it was alleged that Yesterday, Governor Ifai Uguay sent police operatives who came in three vans and numbered 10 and some government officials to new artisan markets as they were sent to demolish the market due to the security threat it poses. However, when tractors and police operatives that were sent there got there and wanted to start demolishing the market, the outside traders in the market who do sell cows chased the policemen and the government officials away as they seized the tractors and also burnt a police patrol vehicle as the police could not escape with it. More information that was given concerning the attack revealed it, revealed it that when the demolition was about to start, the house traders went inside their shops and brought out their rifles and started shooting sporadically. And when police operatives escaped, they barricaded roads and made bonfires on them. While the governor of the state was responding to this, he made it known that on Wednesday night, government officials and the AUSA representatives in the market met and agreed that the market would be demolished yesterday due to the fact that it poses a security threat to the government's house, which is not far away 
from it. Okay. You see now that uh, they will tell you it is not a full learning, it is Awusa, whatever. So it is it's com it's it's confirmed what they have been uh the reason why they wanted to demolish that place. All of a sudden you just brought out your rifles and brought equal forty seven. So what are we talking about? What are we saying? Well, why would traders and S men be armed with AK-47 in a host community? It is becoming obvious they are the ones attacking police men and destroying stations all over the country. They are the only ones permitted to carry weapons. They have just demonstrated it until the government sincerely disarms them. Such attack will not stop. They must equally have internal coordinators in government. Having openly killed policemen in official duty, burnt their vehicle and chased them away. Let's watch and see how the government will bomb and clear that area because they have fulfilled the criteria for deployment of jets and ground force to curb civil unrest. I pity any good people who are be mumu men, cowards. This just this is just the beginning in another man's land. I'll summon with AK-47 in another man's land and the police cannot open fire on them. I said it too, that Aousas are the problem of this country. Buhari government has empowered the Yama juries to become nuisance in the land. Imagine such a uh, brigandage in another man's land. Where did they get the AK-47? The fact remains that all the Fulanis and Aousa people, even those in the various governments, have become bandits and terrorists. To the faithful Igbo governors, this is just a tip of the iceberg. This Terrorists are already prepared for war. Outside men with AK-47, they have already st st uh, stockpiled ammunition in their mosques and luggages waiting to strike. Do you now? Do you know how many souls they have secretly wasted? Resisting the governor's order in a state, can a southerner resist the northern governor's order, order from carrying out his duty in the north? Southerners wake up from slumber if not you people will wake up one day to discover that raging sea have swept you away in the ocean mark my words you can imagine you can imagine bringing that gun you now see what we are we are saying traders oh mm -hmm. nothing will happen police and the military will not act they will rather look for esn so those people now are they start security network so just did it did go and arrest them now because they are also full and fighting Police with AK-47, Igbo youth that did not do anything. So just uh, go, we we'll go and arrest them. But why? I think we, we the Southerners, should stop patronizing all these Fulani Hausa because they are set to kill us and take over our lands and houses. Those ones ruling wheelbarrows, shoemakers, and so on, living around us, we will wake up one morning and sight them with their AK-47. They are just for now spying and waiting for the signal to strike i think this government uh, but bought them the rifle hey i was out with rifles in another man's land like seriously yes so uh nothing was done to the house of fulani terrorist day only Igbo youth doing sports in a school without arms in any house of fulani police commissioner invited army dss with police and shoot them dead are we to be slaves in our land because of British amalgamation. This is why Biafra wants to go. So they have an AK-47 in their shops and no one sees any crime or danger in that. Even the governor and the police ignored that in their response. I am beginning to sense the danger IPOP is talking about. There is obviously an agenda. Amajiri is not seen anything yet. That shows how this country is being run. They were told to shoot anyone with AK-47, but police could not do that because they are not Igbos. What did the governor said about the incident, not what he said before the incident. Anyway, I know the officers has won the case. No more demolition, no arrest. Case closed. With these people, we still say Aousa Fulani are not posing security threats. Ordinary market traders with AK-47 guns in this country and you say everything is all right who are the people finding the embers of war it is not even the community that said they should go and demolish the place so it is government that said because of the security threat it poses because they have gotten an, an information concerning the market and as soon as they got there the people proved them right yes that 
there is that place is really a security threat. What did they do? Nothing. They went back. They will not deploy. Now it is it, it was seen. Everybody saw it. It was seen. Everybody cannot confirm that. Then who are the people going after this? You, you think if it were to be ESN or IPOP as they were alleging from the beginning, they wouldn't have they would have arrested them and captured them, but there's no evidence they are the one. That is why you see that they are see pussy footy. You can imagine the former IGP. Something just happened within some hours. He just concluded that because of what has been happening. So can you now see that this whole thing are not IPOP and ESN? See people who are constituting nuisance, who are creating problems, creating fears in the minds of people. And you know it's happened in Enugu sometime years, two years back, when they saw all this uh, whether they are full and ESP, whether they are also saw them in broad daylight on Akada displaying carrying AK-47. When they called them, what happened today? Did they arrest them? No, they didn't arrest them. They still allow them to roll. They still allow them to roll. So, guys, let us uh, hear your opinion concerning this because this is really, really unfortunate and so, so pathetic. What do you have to say to all of those things? They even blocked through barricaded uh, roads. Leave your comment down there below and let's have your take on this. Thank you.